Matty Navis and John Adams. What a banger this will be. So, you know, John Adams coming in here with that win over Trevor is huge, you know. And MMA, uh, if you really follow MMA math, nine times out of ten, it's pretty false. It doesn't ever actually work out the way that you want nope. it to. But John Adams does have a slick submission game. If it does go to the ground and, and uh, Marty takes him down, there is the possibility that John Adams can st uh, uh, slide in a choke or, or any type of submission. We shouldn't count this guy out. I think we did against Trevor Good, and look what happened there. Yeah. Very scrappy competitor in John Adams, looking to score his second win. Cue the Tom Petty as Marty the Beast Love Davis the Tom Petty. strolls in. Every time. New shirts. Ah, I was wondering whose shirts were those were. I'm digging it. Joe Lozon in the corner, Ginny Mack in the corner. A crowd favorite in his own right. Marty Davis has been a staple at Cage Titans ah, through a decorated God, amateur career. And he's coming off his big guillotine finish of Mike Diorio, Cage Titans, 45. And, you know, big power as he scored two TKO finishes over Albert Tully and Montoya Swilling, respectively, in his first two outings. Looking to keep that momentum, climb to 4-0 because he's made a statement that in 2020 he wants to be on the list of Contender Series competitors for Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. Looking for that shot in the UFC and another representative of the training facility that is Lowe's on MMA. Goes on MMA, man. They have studs over there. They've already um, been in the win column tonight. They're looking to keep the ball rolling. Marty Navis, the next guy up in the lineup. Marty Navis, the badass teddy bear that he is. He comes in here. Great guy outside of the cage. When the cage door closes, that man is a straight up animal. A manimal, if I may. Marty Navis comes in. He's got great wrestling. He's got grit for sure. He'll get in there and lock horns with you the whole time. He's in your face. He's in there to hurt you. He is not there to grind out at a decision. So uh, the tail of the tape coming up right here. Richie. Boom. 27 years old, Marty Navis, 25. John Adams weighed in light, 166. Both guys around the same height, 6'1". Six six three inch reach advantage for Johnny Adams, and we're good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the 11th bout of the evening. A professional welterweight bout scheduled for three rounds Five minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, with the professional record of one victory and three defeats. He stands six feet, one inch tall, and he weighed in at 166 pounds. From Rutland, Vermont, he is representing Wild Child MMA. Let's hear it for John the Wild Child. And now introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner with the professional record of three victories and no defeats. He stands six feet tall and he weighed in at 171 pounds. From Middleborough, Massachusetts, he's representing Lozon MMA. Let's hear it for Marty the Beast Navy. Our referee for this matchup is John English. John English, our referee here, about to get the cage door closed. Get this one underway. The Lozon crowd is abundant this evening, cheering their boy Marty on real, real well. White trunks for John Adams, black trunks for Marty Mavis. Much mutual respect between these two with the mutual opponent, of course. Let's see how the math problem solves out. They touch him up and they're gonna throw down. Two and scrappy Marty's guys. Right into it, right into it. Backing him up right into the cage. Look at his eyes. Ooh, nice big hit. And Ooh. he's got the back. John Adams has the Look back. Look at that. Gotta be careful, John. Big Ooh. takedown. Nice takedown from John Adams, getting the belly lock. I think he's got a hand locked. He's got the wrist on Marty's left Starting side. That back. makes it a little bit different. He's got Marty, one hook in. The, the top hook doesn't matter as much as the bottom hook. Is, let's see, oh, Marty can get up as long. The ah, hook. there it is, perfect. This the is hook. what John wants. He definitely wants And there's there a big is. elbow. Gotta be careful they're not 12 to 6. Right away, putting Marty in danger. John Adams, like we said, slick on the back. We said very if he gets slick. to the ground, he is very slick. I said this. He's working the hands two on one. 
Oh, Rapid Marty up. Arm. He's got that crossbody arm there. He does, Very he does. Nice. He He's going to try and style. scarf hold that arm. Oh, he's, got he's got the, the body triangle. triangle. That's good. Wow. Taking Very real impressive. kick control of this fight early. That body triangle is going to suck the air out of Marty. The more that he tries to resist, the tighter it will get, the harder to breathe it becomes. So this becomes oh, infinitely man. harder to get out of than just oh, working away from a choke. Face lock. It's going to hurt. He's it's stretching it's, him out if he can get that chin. It definitely hurts more than anything, but he won't tap to this. It's just no, pain. De Marty definitely won't. But the more that he struggles, oh, uh, well, that, that, that's not so much in. See, the, John wants to get that leg on the outside of Marty's right leg. Marty's staying calm, though. He's got to get that wrist back. John doesn't have to work here. Marty's got to worry oh, about his man. submission. John's really cranking him here. Oh, he he's cranking in, the neck. I don't think he's got it. Oh, if he hips him no, down. He's quite. losing a hook. He's that out. hook's slipping out. He's, he's a, a little high he's now. Marty could he's get out. Readjust. There it Marty's is. getting up to his feet. Way to abandon it before it, before it becomes a bad position. That was smart by John Adams to disengage there. Marty Mavis oh, reversing oh. position with an underhook Changing now the against the cage. And this is where he excels. Big power in the hands. There's the knee. There's the hands. There's the hands. He drops Johnny. Johnny's down. He's going to finish him there. And that's all there. And that's it. Thank Unbelievable you. fight. Yeah. John yeah. Adams scores the takedown early, gets the body lock triangle, fights the choke. Marty Mavis defends sensationally, reverses position against the cage, lands a big flurry, drops John Adams, and finishes it with devastating ground and pound. Wow. And Marty came in there hard. Marty, Marty Mavis uh, and... and uh, that is the fury. John Adams' uh, uh, corners are, are chirping at each other. Two minutes get out. Really just, and look at Marty's this. Getting up Marty to his gets right up to his feet. Way to abandon it before it turns before it, it around. Great way to turn it around. And just right oh, away. Breaks away, starts bombing on him. He knows what to do. That uppercut right there from the corner, right there. See his knees buckling right there. He goes to the knee up the middle, catches the solar plex. He tries to shoot in, he's done. He knows he's got it. this position right with the knee in between. There's no way John Adams is going anywhere. Perfect position for Marty to, to, to finish the fight right now. That was great. And that's it. The Tico Rose Stoppage call. That was a fury for Roger Brown. That was great. Great man, job. Great job. John Adams, man, he came out hard. He got that takedown at the beginning. He had Marty in a lot of trouble at first with the uh, with the back take. He had a body triangle at one point. Was looking for the choke, but just couldn't quite get it. Marty turned it around. We'll get the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these two warriors. <laughs> Referee John English has called a stop to this contest at two minutes and three seconds of round number one. Giving you your winner by TKO, Marty the 